Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a game played by 9 year old Magnus Carlsen. Carlsen is on the black side and he's playing against his father Henrik Carlsen. The game was played in 2000 at Arnold Grand Prix. Henrik Carlsen started with d4 and knight f6 by Magnus Carlsen. c4, e6, knight f3, b6. Magnus goes for Queen's Indian defense, knight c3, bishop b7, a3, d5, bishop f4, and knight d7. This is a blunder. A better move was placing the bishop on d6 or playing d takes c4. But instead we see knight d7 and suddenly black is starting to face a lot of problems. Here comes knight b5, now white is threatening to capture on c7. Carlsen played rook c8, but now white is capturing on a7. Rook a8, knight b5. Rook c8, rook c1. And another bad move by Carlsen, knight h5. A better move was playing c6. But instead, after rook c1, we see knight h5, and now Henrik Carlsen is capturing on c7. Rook takes c7, bishop takes c7. Queen takes c7, and already the rook is on c1, and white is also capturing on d5, attacking the queen. Queen d8, and there it goes, the pawn is also capturing on e6. f takes e6, queen b3, attacking this vulnerable pawn on e6. Bishop d5, queen a4, bishop e7, knight e5, white is intensifying the pin on d7 not allowing black to castle kingside. Bishop f6, and here comes a strong move e4, both developing the pawn with a tempo and also opening up this bishop's diagonal. Carlsen played bishop takes e5, getting rid of this dangerous knight, but if a move like bishop takes e4 then this is simple, white can capture on d7 and then play bishop b5. That's why after e4, Magnus captured on e5, here comes d takes e5, bishop b7, bishop b5, again attacking this knight on d7, king e7, trying to get rid of the pin, but here comes the rook, rook d1, again creating a pin, bishop c8, queen b4 check, king f7, queen d6, king e8, queen takes e6 check, this is just crushing. Queen e7 and queen d6. Actually white had a very easy chance to win the game by playing queen g4. Taking the knight and also freeing this e6 square for the pawn. If g6 and simply e6 and this is going to be an easy win for white. But instead after queen e7 we see queen d6. This is also winning but this gives black a chance to prolong the game. Queen takes d6, rook takes d6, king e7. Bishop takes d7, bishop takes d7, g3, rook c8, white castles kingside, b5, and f3. Of course, playing at once f4 is better and more active, but we see first f3. Rook c5, rook d1, bishop e6, and only now white plays f4. Rook c2, rook d2, controlling the second rank, and then rook b6, bishop c4, a4, b takes a4, rook c2, king d7, rook d6, check king c8, and there it goes, e6, knight f6, e7, bishop f7, rook d8, check, king b7, rook takes c7, check king takes c7, e5, knight e8, here comes e6, a powerful deflective move, and Magnus Carlsen resigned. If bishop g6, then f5. Trying to lure away this bishop from h5, e8 diagonal. If bishop h5, then white can also play g4. And if you capture, then you will lose your knight, and this is an easy win for white. Your comments and questions, please. What do you think about this game?